Fox News' Dave Kinchin is live for us tonight. And Dave, you really do have your hand on the pulse of what some of these workers are telling you. Yeah, no doubt. You know, there's so many different angles and ripples to all of this as we go into day five now. Here's what we know. Day five, 300 jobs. There's a part supplier you're going to hear about in just a moment in Michigan talking about laying off up to 300 workers if this strike continues. In fact, they've already set a date for early October. We also know that the UAW has put a deadline in place a Friday, this Friday at noon, to have either significant progress with the big three or they will up the ante and provide more strike locations, more, more plants, so more than the three that have uh, seen strikes already. And uh, they're going to announce new targets as well. Meantime, workers and parts suppliers, they're all on edge. We're fighting, we're holding the line. Arnisha Daniel is one of the many auto workers at Ford Michigan Assembly in Wayne, pushing through day five of the UAW's strike against the big three with even more questions about the immediate future. And major changes are already happening in the industry. We just want to stick together. We want to see things just move at a, a better and a progressive way for everybody. Meanwhile, things are up in the air for the suppliers that provide the many small plastic and metal parts that go into American-made cars, particularly the smaller companies who might lay off workers in a major ripple effect. This is troubling indeed because of the speed. That's the reaction from automotive analyst Jan Griffiths to mid-Michigan supplier CIE Nucor. It just announced plans to lay off nearly 300 workers due to the strike. Jan spent 35 years running global purchasing and supply chain operations in the auto business. First of all, CIE is being smart by putting that notice out there now to notify their workforce and others that there is a layoff coming. And when you're in a situation like this as a tier two supplier, you have to conserve cash. You've got cash coming in for a few more weeks from the products you've already made. But then if you're not producing right now, because of the strike, then there's no cash coming. She says many other small suppliers will follow suit with layoffs if a deal is not reached between the UAW and Detroit automakers soon. They're fragile right now because they've just recovered from COVID, barely, the chip crisis. They've had to deal with wage increases, transportation increases, utility increases, raw material increases, the cost of money. They're having to manage all of this, and now you have a strike that puts a dead stop on their incoming cash, and that's a problem. And many of these small businesses dealing with parts and supplies could face bankruptcy. Meantime, we do know that Ford was able to strike a deal with the union that represents Canadian workers uh, doing work for Ford, but uh, the UAW, we actually reached out on Twitter to see if the UAW has a reaction to that union in Canada striking that deal with Ford Motor Company. But again, Friday is that deadline, noon, and uh, UAW President Sean Fain will be on Facebook Live then to give an update to the situation. And if there is no progress, again, they're still far apart on salary, I'd rather on wages, they're far apart on, as it relates to tiers, and restoring many of those classic pictures that were given up by the Great Recession era. So there's a lot that still needs to be worked out. Here we are, day five, reporting live in Wayne, Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News. Yes, and Dave, you have to think the supply chain issues that we dealt with during COVID and maybe this could set us back even more with manufacturing and possibly even end up costing more than what the union wants originally in their contract. So hopefully uh, or possibly this could push a resolution uh, sooner than later. Yeah, no doubt. And there's also the investment that uh, the big three, they say they're still trying to make in the EVs, long range investments. So there's a lot of financial strain out there with all of this going on as uh, this continues. And one more point, uh, you know, to put out there, uh, Sean Finn has said they're not messing around with all of this and they continue to put those contract proposals, those counter offers, file them in the trash, really, that trash can that you've seen behind them in some of those press conferences. Well, we can only hope that, uh, like we said, a resolution and agreement will come soon. Dave, thanks for the update.